My good friends have an eight-year-old daughter named Indy. And I met Indy when she was two years old, and over the next six years, we built up a really good rapport and one of those fun adult-kid relationships. Every time I go to their house, Indy and I will always play games together, many of which we will make up ourselves. For instance, there's one that we call the commitment game, and the rules are very simple. You look at each other right in the eyes, and then with Oscar-caliber acting, an unflinching commitment, you tell the other what not to do. Indy, don't you dare, under any circumstances, look at me, don't you dare take my water glass in the kitchen and refill it with water and bring it back. Don't you do it. She would then continue eye contact with me and go into the kitchen, do it, come back, we'd laugh heartily. And then it would be her turn to tell me what not to do. It's effing adorable. <laughs> so the other day, we were, I was over at their place, and Indy and I were in the driveway playing handball against the garage. I had not seen her in three months, and the last time I did was a night where she purposely did something that directly affected a big aspect of my life. So as we are bouncing the ball back and forth, I give her kind of a basic rundown of what's been going on with me, and with a very, <laughs> and with a very big smile on my face, because I'm legitimately happy with the way things turned out, I conclude with, and it's all because of you. And Indy was shocked, and she said, really? And I said, yes, and I have been dying to know, why did you do what you did that night? And Indy looked at me, squinted her eyes, cocked her head, and through this little mischievous grin, said three words that I suspected were the case. So back in December, I went to Indy's grandmother's holiday party, and in attendance were all of her extended family, who I've known for many years and like, and also her friends and neighbors, who I didn't know that well at all. One of the friends and neighbors that was there was a neighbor's daughter named Kelly, who was a beautiful and striking woman that immediately I was attracted to slash was intimidated by. And we had a couple of uh, exchanges throughout the night, just some kind of perfunctory stuff, but nothing of any real consequence because I was doing what I do at all parties. I was sticking with the people I knew already. So, party progresses and inevitably Indy wants to play the commitment game. So I'm tipsy at this point and I say, oh yeah, let's do this. So. I think it's going to be fun at this point. Let's integrate other people in this. So I say, Indy, don't you dare, under any circumstances, go over to your mother and tell her one thing you really like about her. Don't do it. And she did, came back, we laughed, and then she said, okay, Kevin, don't you dare, under any circumstances, go tell Kelly that you think she's beautiful. To which I say, oh no, please don't make me do that. <laughs> Are you, no, please don't. And then before I can finish my sentence, Indy goes, hey, Kelly, come here a second. <laughs> so beautiful Kelly smiles and starts walking over to us. And then Indy goes, Kevin has something to tell you. And then that little joker just walks off and leaves me to pick up the pieces. <laughs> so I'm immediately tongue tied, but try to be cool at the same time where I say, I don't know if you've been following our game tonight, but. <laughs> We tell each other things not to do, and she just told me to tell you that you're not, not to tell you that you're beautiful, but you really are an undeniably beautiful woman, but I'm really embarrassed right now. She responds in a smile that tells me that she's not upset that I just said that she was beautiful. And we talk for a little bit more, and I am completely taken by her. As the night progresses and it's almost over, as everyone's leaving and saying their goodbyes as they go out the door, I get this strange burst of courage where I walk up to Kelly and say, it was really nice meeting you tonight. And this time, not prompted by an eight-year-old girl, you really are a beautiful woman. I know. <laughs> Kelly and I were Facebook friends by morning, and then I wrote her a note. <laughs> Then I wrote her a note that day saying, once again, it was a pleasure to meet her and that if she wanted to go on a date, I'd be cool with that. And, <laughs> and she wrote back saying, yes, she would like to, and then signed off with the line, oh, by the way, if Indy is your wing woman, brilliant, just brilliant. <laughs>
So we go out on this date and we connect immediately and then we go out on more dates. And then very quickly, we up the relationship to boyfriend, girlfriend. And I could not be happier with this scenario. And it's all because of you. I said to Indy three months later as we stood in the driveway playing handball against the garage. And I said, why did you do what you did that night? And she looked at me, squinted her eyes, cocked her head, and through a mischievous grin said, to embarrass you. (laughs) And I said, well, it backfired because I got a girlfriend out of it. (laughs) And I said, don't you dare get a big head because we are now together and you're a main reason for it. And doing exactly what I told her not to do, she looked me dead in the eyes and goes, I'm amazing. (laughs) Thank you very much. Awesome, Kevin. What a great storyteller.